is Dennis from Smoke Daddy Inc. and Pellet Pro Grill. Uh, today I want to show you, uh, we've come up with a, a new little bracket here to help uh, reduce uh, this flop that's on all of these uh, pellet grills that are out there. Why it's designed like that, you, you know, I mean, they, they've been working like that for years, but I think it, with this bracing, it'll help reduce a, a lot of this, well, it'll reduce all of this flopping in this that's on here. I think uh, with it like this, once you get that bracing in there, you'll get a more of a, a consistent feed rate because what happens is this motor flops around and uh, the auger can stop for momentarily and disrupt uh, your feed rate. Now, another thing that I've noticed with these motors after a while, if they flop around, you'll, the bearing in here, uh, there's not a bearing, it's a bushing, but it'll, it'll start to wear out. And eventually that's going to wear out the uh, gears in there. Now we do offer a, uh, a new uh, replacement one that we get here, that we have made here in the States. And you can see here, this is nice and in, in place where it should be. So what, what you need to, to do this is a quarter inch drive here. You want it a little extra long here. Uh, that'll help get where you need to go. Uh, either a 16th or a, a 332nd drill, uh, a Phillips drive. It'll come along with a, uh, some of these mounting screws. And I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a 2.5 millimeter uh, Allen wrench uh, to remove the, the auger pin here. So with that, let me uh, stop the video. All I'm going to do is take this pin out. There's a little uh, quarter inch drive here that'll uh, release the, the white bushing in there. And we'll pull that all out and then uh, I'll come right back and we'll show you the rest. Okay, I removed the, the pin that holds the auger motor onto the auger shaft. So we'll just pull that out of there. Now this mounting bracket will eventually, it'll, it'll fit in here like this. Uh, so, but what we want to do is the way to mount that, you have to take these four screws out of there. Now, these screws sometimes can be a pain in the neck, so just make sure you have it down on something really solid, because if you strip the top of those uh, Phillips uh, heads, you're kind of screwed. Then you gotta take and grind a little groove in there so you can get a regular flathead uh, screw, uh, screwdriver in there to get them out. But again, you just remove these, make sure you're, you're down on something really nice and solid, put some pressure on there so you don't strip those out. So what I'm gonna do is we'll you take these out and put your motor mount on here. Now what I'm gonna do is put this on there now when you put this on, you want to be about an eighth of an inch from here to here. It's about an eighth of an inch, which is a good starting point. Uh, so this will line up a square with the auger shaft. Now we did put some uh, grooves in there, some slots, so you do have some play. So let me put this back together with the, the Phillips screws there. Again, it's about a, an eighth of an inch from here to the, this surface is a good starting point. So, okay, I'll be right back. Okay, uh, I put this uh, the bracket on here. Uh, now I have these just kind of snug on there for right now, because you wanna, make, you wanna check to make sure that you're lined up properly uh, with the auger shaft. Now, one of the things you might you wanna do is you'll look at this shelf here and make sure that you're at a good 90 degrees. Some of the older ones, if they've been bent down, uh, yeah, you just get it back up to as close as the 90 degrees as you can. So yeah, once you have that on there, uh, kind of just snug, uh, you just put it on here and, and see how, how close you are to being center here, if you see what, and if, since it's snug there, you know, you can always just tap it around until, until you, you feel as though it's nice and square uh, to that shaft. And then uh, just give it a snug, snug down, and uh, you should be all set.
Now the other thing I'd push that push that in and we if you want to, to mark that put your shaft back on there. Now what I would do is take that drill um, to mark these holes. Now that looks pretty close. Everything looks nice and square. Uh, I would uh, just mark them here. They, they are self uh, drilling, but I think this makes it a little easier. Just uh, mark those holes there uh, and then drill them out and uh, the screws you'll be able to put in there a lot easier. So we're going to stop it there and I'm going to take it all out and we'll, we'll, we'll be right back. Okay, so now what, what, what we want to do is, since you got everything lined up on there, everything looks pretty square, is we we'll take the white the, the auger out of here and uh, the white bushing and attach attach everything uh, to the auger motor, and uh, then 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 replace it back into the the auger tube. So let me put that on there and I'll be right back. Okay, I, I put the, the auger onto the auger shaft here. It's all assembled properly and we'll slip this back in here and get this lined up to where the holes that you uh, pre-drilled. And uh, let me get the, we will take the, self-tapping screws that we sent along. Again, if you have something that's a little longer, it makes it a lot simpler to get in here. So just kind of put that loosely at first to get everything lined up. Get your bushing in there flush. Now what I would do is uh, take your small drill again and re-drill that nylon bushing. Would be That's the easiest way. Um, it looks like I already hit a hole there that was already in there. But sometimes just re-drilling it is, works really well. So re-drill that. Uh, get to your little the set screw that goes in there and uh, put that in there and there you have it i mean that's on there really good you're not gonna go anywhere with that let's plug it in and see how uh how it runs oh plug it. that was the wrong one that's the fan <laughs> so yeah no flop it's going to give you a nice consistent uh, feed rate where a lot of times what happens, you get a bunch of pellets in there that get jammed up in here and it'll stall that auger motor a little bit or the auger and this starts to move around and it, it changes the, the feed rate. So that, plus it'll also help uh, protect that, that bushing that's in there from wearing out and, and pretty much save your uh, auger motor. So yeah, that's uh, our new little design here. And they're all pretty much set up the same way. So, you know, there may be a little difference in the height here a little bit, but that's why we put the, the grooves in there, the slots, so you can adjust that a little bit. So with that, you know, thanks for looking. Go start cooking.